Hello, I'm Wanderer001, and this is my review of Fing, a handy networking tool that you can get for Android or iOS. Uh, this is the first page that you see when you click onto the Fing app itself. And what this is, this is a listing of everything that's connected to the current Wi-Fi router that I'm attached to. Now you'll notice over here, it says 15 of 32. That's because there are 15 active connections to this network and 32 things that have ever been on this particular network. You'll also notice here it says 18 hours ago. That means that's the last time I ran a scan on this network. Now I have added a new item to this network. So without further ado, if you click on this refresh button right here, it will scan the network you are currently on. You'll notice the number is slowly going up. And there you can see we have 16 of 33 items on the network now. So what that is, it's that new item that I added to the network. Coming down here, you'll just see a listing of all the things. Here's my router, here's an Echo device, here's a Waze camera. So this is actually the new item that I've added. Now you'll notice that there are X's there as part of the MAC address that is changeable in the settings and I'll show you that a little later. But the reason I'm showing you this and scanning for this particular device is because, well, there's extra things that you can do. Notice that each of these has a different icon next to it, different name next to it. So what you can do is if you click on the particular item, you can give it a name. So in this case, I'm just gonna label it WCAM version two because this is the second uh, variant of this particular device. So if we come over here to where it just shows a generic default icon, you'll notice that you have several icons that you can choose from. Uh, different types of mobile devices, audio and video, home office, and then a lot of smart home things, as well as you have networked items, servers, and engineering. This makes it much easier to, at a glance, know what is attached to your network. Now, you have to assign these, it doesn't automatically assign them, however, after I select that this is an IP camera, it will remember that. You can also add additional notes, enter where this device is located, and you can press on the pennant there, which will mark it as important, or you can press on the star, which will mark it as a favorite, which helps with searching later on if you needed to. You can scan services, ping this particular uh, device, trace the route, and wake on land. You can also alert when the status of this changes. So if it goes offline, you can have an alert sent to you. But keep in mind, the only way that you'll be able to do that is if you refresh, because this is the free version of the app. There's also a little bit of information down here, IP address, MAC address again. That's a setting that you can turn off. And then here you go, Waze Labs is the uh, vendor for this particular item. Clicking back, you'll now notice that the WCAM2 has a name, Still shows the vendor over here, but it changed that icon. So that's pretty cool. If we scroll down, I'm just gonna come all the way down here. It's gonna show you grayed out items. These are items that have been on the network, but are not currently on the network. You'll also notice if I come down to where it says Roku Premiere Plus, of course it's not doing it right now, but if there was a little green dot next to that, that indicates that it is actually a, a device that has multiple IP addresses. You'll notice that up here, the router, my Asus router, has a little Asus icon, or not a, a, a Wi-Fi icon next to it. On this main screen, on this main screen, you have a little bar area and you can use this to search for a particular device by name. You can order and you click on that by IP address, state, name, vendor, MAC address, last change, and we're gonna go back you can filter by, similarly, important, favorites, alerts, unrecognized, offline, online. And then you can edit your alerts. So it'll send you alerts when something is first seen on the network. So in my case, I create an account for Fing. So I will have an email later stating that the Waze cam is now on my network. You can do that for at any change. And then you can select devices that you wish to be alerted about. That's from this main page. Coming over here, you have scan an external IP network. So if you don't want to join the network, you can manually type in the network there, or you can go to settings. Settings will show you 
bunch of information, Fing tool, blah, blah, blah. If you don't have a Fing account, you can create one here. Recognize devices, maximum network size. These are, these are extra things that you can, can do. Nothing's really going to affect the functionality of the application except for privacy mode, which will cut out the last digits of the MAC address. There's also a night mode, which will make it black. I, I kind of like the white version. I did try the black uh, night mode and it just was a little hard to read because then the text became white and that kind of bothers my eyes. But coming down here along the bottom, we have been on devices. If we come over to my networks, you will need to have an account for this, but it will keep track of all the networks that you've ever connected to and scanned. Now, don't recommend doing this necessarily on hotel Wi-Fi, but when I was first using the tool, I wanted to test it out and see what it could do. So these are all the networks and it will show you how many devices were on the network and how long ago it was that you've done it. Tools, tools to me is very important because when you are diagnosing a network, and in my case, when I was arguing with my ISP a couple months ago about my Wi-Fi connection and speeds, I was running a ping test from here. So let me actually show you. What you can do is enter an IP address or domain. So in my case, I'm going to cheat and we are going to do google.com. I'm going to hit enter. So from here, you can scan the service. It shows you the IP address. So if we go scan service, it will scan the service. And I've done this before, so it will show you HTTP as well as HTTPS. I'm not going to make you sit through that. Uh, ping, this was the important part for me because what it's doing is it's sending packets to Google and then seeing how long it takes it. Okay, so see here, we have packet loss. So average ping rate, packet loss, minimum ping, maximum ping. So let me refresh and do this again because that seems very high. Yeah, all right, this, this is more what it should be like. And you'll notice for packet loss, that was the important thing when I talked to my ISP was the percentage of packet loss I was getting was ridiculously high for what it should have been. Now you can come up here, there's a share button. You can share that through all your socials or email, chat, so forth. Uh, but this tool right here, just for the ping, very, uh, very important, very useful. All right, next we're gonna show you trace route. So what that'll do is that will show you between when you first query Google to getting to Google, how many hops it actually takes. Now, depending on your ISP, it can drag this out like exponentially. So it, it's an interesting thing to know. And again, this is kind of like a high level overlook of this. I'm not going to explain all the tools. I'm kind of assuming that if you're looking at this tool, it's because you are familiar with networking in some way, shape or form. I am not a networking guru, but figured I like this tool. So I'll show you what uh, it can do. You also have your wake on LAN. And that's it for the tools page. Now, Fing does also have a Fing box, which is a separate networked device that you can attach to your Wi-Fi router, which will automatically do a lot of these things that I was doing manually with this. But you don't necessarily need that. And again, realistically, it's a free tool. You just have to create an account for it and you can do all these uh, networking setup and diagnostics. Uh, this has been very helpful for me when I go over to a friend's house and their computer's not working correctly and I can't get on their computer to run like a, a ping test or anything. I just open up thing, I scan the network, I make sure there's nothing that shouldn't be there, trace the route. I mean, it's a very handy tool and you get a lot for a free, uh, free app. So recommend it if you're into networking or do it yourself thing, thing. Free in the Google Play or Apple Store. I have been Wanderer001. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the area below. And as always, thanks for watching.